So here are the tools what you need for this project. You have your drill, you have the heads for the screws, you have your wood drill bits, saw, and depending from what you make it, you either have 2x8 or 2x4, and then you have clamp, then you have these grooves, which are 9 centimeters, and and these you need four in total, four, right? Then you have your food, wood file, pencil to mark the wood, ruler, and this, this, and I will put the name of this in the video. It's like, helps you to make a 90 degree line from the middle line. Okay, and these are these tools are optional. You do not need this, but I did use them in the video since I have them. But you do not need these. All right. Re regarding making lines, you only need these, and even this is optional. You could you can do it without it, but it helps. So that are all the tools you need, and now let's make. Okay, so let's make this thing. Before you start making this thing, you, you need to decide to what you are making it. There are different types of dumbbells, or this type of dumbbells, loadable dumbbells. Some, some are taller, some are longer, and some are shorter. <laughs> and in this video, I have these longer ones, which are, which are 45 centimeters tall, and these long, shorter ones are 35 centimeters tall. I make them to fit these. What that means is that I will be making two layers of board, and then the plywood. Whereas if you are dealing with the shorter dumbbell, you only need maybe a one layer of 2 by 4 or, and then the plywood, since it will not pop out. But I make it fit this. If you have a dumbbell like this, you make it fit that. The other thing, what you have to decide before you start, is that are you going to make it out of 2 by 4 or are you going to make it out of 8 by, are you correct? 8 by 2. Are you going to make it out of this, which is 2 by 8 or 2 by 4? I happen to have this 2 by 8 board. So I'm gonna use it, but you might as well use this and just if you make the different layers, you just put the other layer like this and screw them together. And of course, the plywood also will hold them together. But since I have this and I have no other use for it, I might as well use it here. So I'm gonna make it out of this. You can make it out of this. You make it this. You only use one layer. If you have a dumbbell like this, you might make it out of two layers. And why? Why do I not? And why? I don't take into consideration if there is only one plate. Like if there be only one plate, then of course that might peak out a little. But it's only one plate. It's like 10 kilos. You don't have to put 10 kilos on your knees. In, it's in ten, when, it, when it, the weight is 20 kilos, then it starts to be an issue that you cannot put the dumbbells on your knees or your, on your tights. So that's why I only make these to fit dumbbells that are loaded. 20 kilos or more. So, so now, the first step, I make the measurements on the board. We need, I need, because I make the two layers one, I need four pieces out of this, which are 10 centimeters wide, as this are, is this board, and 10 centimeters high, meaning tall. So, every 10 centimeters, you got four pieces. And with this, you would need eight pieces, since you get two pieces whenever you do this. All right, let's do that now. I said wrong. You do not cut every 10 centimeters, but any, every 20 centimeters. And you might want to take these measurements from the board itself. Because even though these boards say they are 2x4s and 2x8s, they are not really like 
it varies. So if you want to make a symmetric piece, you make it as high as it is thick. And for example, this board here, even though this is 2 by 8, it's not really 8 inches. As you can see, I don't know, can you see? But this is this is seven and three three portions and three out of four. However, you said that in English, but I would put the number here. So it's not like really eight. So when we are trying to make a symmetric piece out of it, meaning that symmetric in a way that it's as thick as it, it's tall, we need to make pieces that are, you take the height, the length from the thickness. So my thickness was seven and three quarters, I guess, or 19 and a half centimeters. So that's the principle, as tall as it's thick. But in principle, since these are two by fours and two by eights, it should be eight, in, eight inches tall also as it's 8 inches thick and with the toes the same. Let's continue. And as a side, side note, you want to cut them and then mark them and cut them and then mark them. Because when you are sewing, it will take away some material here. So the, it's not exact the measurements. You get more accurate measurements when you Measure it and cut it, and then measure it again from the cut point, not from the original point. All right, continue. Right, so we have our pieces now. The next thing is that we got even more. Now we got pieces from the plywood. That are the same sizes as these. Meaning that, again, you take the measurements from the board itself. Since these are not exact measurements, the 2 by 4 and 2 by 8 are not exact measurements. So in my case, these 2 by 8s are really 2, 7, 7.75 7 inches. In other words, they are 19 and a half centimeters. So I will cut now from the plywood pieces, two pieces that cover these sections. And when you are choosing your plywood, you need to remember, when you are choosing your plywood, you need to remember to what dumbbell you are making it. Meaning that, I make it to fit this lock. So, so the plywood has to be as thick as this section is here, this section. And in my case it is. And you choose your plywood so that this, this happens. It's not a big crime if it goes a little bit over it, but, but if it doesn't, this rubber ring touches the weight and there is maybe a better chance that it locking mechanism works a little bit better. But I don't think it's substan substant, this word, and hence, you can use up almost what thickness you want. All right. You could even make this section out of a board. But since plywood, I have it, I will make it out of plywood. So I proceed cutting the pieces.
All right. Now that has been done. And we have this kind of things. Now we will we will find the center of this piece. And in this piece, we are gonna make a hole here with the with the hole saw drill bit tool. I will saw. First, I will find the holes by drawing a line from set corner to corner. And the center is where these lines meet. Alright, I do this now. So the lines the lines has been made and the center has been found. And now I will measure what is the diameter of this and then I make hole with the same diameter diameter. Alright, I will now proceed to take the measurement from this and replicate and find the correct tools to do the next step, which is to make the hole after finding the measurement. This tool is optional. This is not so accurate. It, this doesn't need to be so accurate, you could just take it with this. But since I now have this, might be as, might as well use it. So I'm gonna make a little starter hole here, so that this doesn't move when I try to make a, the axle hole. So my my locks these are four centimeters and six millimeters, but of course you could be different. There are different types of this, so you take your own measurement. So now I'm gonna make the holes to these. Let's continue with that. And this tool, I will put the name of this tool. This was a I will put the name of it there. So now we have the circles here, which are for these. Good. And now we're gonna make here a section, a hollow section, which will house this inside of this board and this will come then on top of it but this will be synced down here and there has to be this star star profile this profile that this has it has to mimic it so that this when you are turning this you are actually turning this lock so now i will proceed to find where is the center on this board with the same time of making the lines cross all right. So there it is. And then I use these locks when I place it on the center, which I has already determined by this X. I now put this thing on the center and then I draw the outline of it. All right. Now it has been done for one board, and now I will do it on another board. And there it is on another board. Then we will cut this hollow using this tool by, with the plan is that we first cut circles here, and here, and here, and here, and then we got a bigger circle in the middle. Then we only have a little bit here which we have, which we have to sizzle out. All right. So we do six small circles here and then one big circle here. And warning, do not make the big circle first. Because if you cut the big circle first, then you could, cannot cut the little ones anymore since there is nothing where you can attach this center, center drilling tool. It will just go wherever. So 
First, let's make the small ones and then make the big one, and then we see what we have to sizzle out. All right. And also one thing, we do not want to cut deep and too deep, meaning that this tool would cut this deep, like here, but this is only this deep. So we will use tape and we will tape here how deep we want to go. And when we hit the tape here, we stop. All right. I will now proceed putting the tape here. Now the tape has been applied. As you can see, it goes only as deep as it should. This is the this is the deepness, not this. This. This deep. All right. So, we are in this step on our process. Next I will proceed making the bigger hole here, with cutting here. And before that, I will proceed making a starter hole here with this, so that it will cut this on the right place. All right, I will proceed now doing that. All right, now this has been made, and now I will try to sizzle them out with the sizzle and hammer. Let me see how that goes. And there, another one. Now, we need to make a hole here, which is 30 millimeters. The same size hole as we had, as these bars are. If your bar is, there are also 25 millimeter bars. So if your bar is 25 millimeters, then you just make a hole to fit that. But my bar is 30 millimeters. And I will make a hole to fit that. And this hole is better to be a bit loose. Since this is supposed to, you want to like put it in place fast and take it off fast. So if it's sticking all the time, it's not that good. So. Since we have already already made the center here, I will now proceed of drilling the center hole all the way through. And then I will drill from this side using the 3 mil 30 millimeter drill bit. I will drill from this side so that it will go through because I cannot drill from this side because this, this profile will hit these sides. And this tool does not go only to the halfway. Point. So I need to drill it from this side. So now I will proceed making hole through and then drilling from this side the 30 millimeter hole, millimeter hole and let's hope that it goes through. If it doesn't then we figure out something. All right I will do this now.
Now this has been made like so. And now I will proceed making 30 millimeter hole to this, since it will become here. And in this, this part of the process, if you are making, making these things for these solder bars, you would be almost done already, since you do not need this section. Now you would just proceed by putting this here and closing this up. So then it would be a lock. Of course you wouldn't do it now. You would still you would still round this up. We want to make this so that at the end it is like an eight sides. It will have eight corners. We will cut still these out of it. Because <coughs> the weight plates we do not want that this thing will it, that it is further away than the weight plate because if it is then when you are putting them on the place you are like putting this on there it will hit you cannot turn it so it has to be a little bit smaller profile than these plates that you are using on the dumbbell so we will we still have to cut this on the profile but what I'm trying to say that you would be done with the hole if you would do this smaller one. But I will still proceed doing the thicker ones. So we will, I will proceed now making the 30 millimeter hole on these after I have determined the center. So now I will proceed determining the center by the two lines and then doing the 30 millimeter hole. All right. So, now we have all the pieces regarding holes ready, as so. Now, we just need to cut these so that we are dealing with some shape which is not, not square, but eight sides, meaning we need to cut these off. And how we will cut this off is by using these lines that we cut, and from these lines we measure from the centers, center, have the distance of the diameter. If this is some distance, then we measure from here half of that distance. Since in an eight, eight corners, if we're gonna make it, make it distance from here to the center is half the distance of this. So in an eight corner thing, the side which will be here, the distance from the center to that side is the same from the center to this side. So we just measure the distance from the center, which we already measured in the beforehand. You could have also done this process after we cut these four these pieces. You could have done this then but I was too tired of sewing, so I will do it now. But now you will measure from the center the half of this distance. And then you will, you will use a tool like I will sew. Tool like this. So you can make the straight line from these lines. All right, I will proceed making these lines, lines now.
Now they all have been marked. And now I will proceed cutting the corners off from everything. All right? Now we only have two corners to cut. So I I could so I decided to show you a little trick how you can cut this, how you can get the saw at the right place <coughs> and cutting from the right place. Alright, so you use your thumb like so. Well you let this side of the saw go against your thumb like this part, knuckle. So if you want to cut here, you put your thumb like this here. And then you let, let it cut, cut the saw. And when you have started, you don't have to keep the thumb there. So, use this part of your thumb and cut the, get the blade saw where you want. So, that's how you get the start where you want to start cutting. Otherwise, if you just do this, it will be a mess. Now we have all the pieces. Thank God. And that now, we can put this together. If there is some side which will fit better than the other, then you use it. And now I will screw it on this side with nine, nine centimeter screws so that they do not go through, but they will penetrate also this one. This, these are five centimeters, four inches. All right, I will make a starter holes for the screws and then I put the screws in. So little the phone my phone died there so a little section of the video is missing on the end but all I did was put the other screw on like I put the first one and the issue there was that you need to align these holes you can think that try with my finger at, like is are they aligned and then put the screws on make, make the guiding holes but that's it that's how you make these and now you can you can put weights on your knees without the bars hurting you thanks for watching <laughs>